Hello, and welcome to our presentation for Lunar Settlement. Our first section is on engineering. Our single building is split into three main areas for storage, aeroponics, and living space. The material we've chosen to use primarily is lunar regolith, which blocks out radiation and protects us from minor asteroids. We are also exploiting natural light in our design in order to help heat the home, but more on that on the design section. Obviously, energy is a key factor in our design. We have chosen to use a combination of solar panels for lunar day and hydrogen fuel cells for lunar night. By exploiting our scientific knowledge, we will engineer specific solar cells for different types of EM radiation. And we will also use mirrors, hence to maximise the amount of energy we can produce. Usefully, hydrogen fuel cells will also provide us with water as a waste product. We recognise we need to be sustainable and have engineered for that. For example, using combination with aeroponic systems, piezoelectric injectors make it possible to control the exact amount of water used so no is wasted. Also, by recycling water in our toilet systems, we can save the initial dependence on imported water. For water, we will supply our family with it sourced from hydrogen fuel cells, but also from backup tanks full of water sent from Earth or from alternative settlements. We'll also recycle water from plants and from the water vapour left in air in the complex. We have calculated the best way to get water to the moon from Earth is to ship liquid hydrogen on board a space shuttle, coinciding with production of energy through hydrogen fuel cells. For food, we have chosen to use aeroponic systems for vegetable growth. Aeroponics is the most efficient way of producing plants and therefore is the best method of production for a lunar settlement. We will grow soy for a dairy substitute and essential legumes, seeds and vegetables to ensure that all food types are represented. Additionally, mycoprotein will be grown on site to supplement meat. All other essential vitamins will be shipped over as pills to ensure the health of the astronauts. For design and other factors, we have concluded that it will be necessary to create heavy clothing to counter gravity effects. In our overall house design, we have a gym for fitness, a large observatory which is used in order to help heat the house. We have also factored in everything we need for a proper home, what you'd expect on Earth, including temp mattresses, showers of extraction and facilities for leisure time. For logistics, we have done many calculations and concluded that it will cost a lot of time, a lot of money, but we have taken steps to minimise this by using flat packing and one trip only. Thank you.